New study reveals most Americans support separation of church and state. Yay! Um, a survey conducted by the Pew Research Center in March 2021 showed that most adult Americans support the separation of church and state. 69% of the respondents agreed that the federal government should never declare any state religion. At the same time, 67% agreed that the U.S. Constitution was written by humans and reflected their vision, not God's. Not, and not necessarily God's vision. The study demonstrates that 58% of Republicans agreed that the federal government should not favor a state religion. 80% of Democrats agreed uh, with the same statement. On the other hand, 26% uh, of Republicans and 6% of Democrats prefer having a state religion. The March 2021 study also recognized white evangelical Christians to be the most supportive of the integration of church and state. Um, so I think that probably isn't, uh, surprising to see that, uh, demonstrated that it's the white evangelical Christians that are the most supportive of, you know, uh, helping to remove the, uh, influence of religion in, uh, civic society. Uh, but, uh, there we go. I, there's a lot I could talk about this news, but Armin, do you have any first impressions? Do, are there not a lot of religious people who say that, oh yeah, we love religion and we want sec uh, separation of church and state because that will corrupt religion if it becomes like, uh, I, I don't know if how common of an argument this is. Like, like the separation of church and state is some religious people try to sell that as a way to say that's, that's a way to protect the church. It's not to um huh. limit you know i don't know you haven't heard of that argument line of reasoning by some religious people no like it's not just to put it's they say the separation of the wall between church and state is not just to protect the state from the church but it's also to protect the church from the state and i, I don't know like some people i heard some religious people try to use that line of reasoning as a way to sell this but i don't know how common it is in the u.s so given that you haven't heard of it i guess not common that much. <laughs> right. yeah um uh, there was lots of interesting characteristics or statistics that came out of this. Um, so here we can see an image from Pew. And um, well, wait, I was wait, saying, wait, 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 how wait. is this good news? America didn't support, Amer didn't America support did, it before did this? Well, yes, but these are just like the latest statistics. Um, so part of the study was <laughs> what? He's like, I thought you were, you guys were already better than this. <laughs> He's like, I thought you were already over this. <laughs> I mean, obviously going. not if we remember January 6th. <laughs> like, um, um. So part of the way that this study was done was they characterized um, the different groups of people into broad categories like church state separationist, church state integrationists, and then people who had a mixed opinion or no opinion, right? So, and then even within that, they had um, a range of how strong your position was. So what I thought was really interesting was that 90, I think it was, yeah, 96% of atheists and agnostics um, support church and state separation. We are the largest group that, are firm secularists because like i said even beyond saying oh, okay just the broad category of your if you're a separationist or an integrationist then within the separationist category they have strong moderate or mixed categories right well out of the atheists they are the largest portion of strong secularists 77 percent of them being strong secularists i what the okay what there, is there a percentage of atheists who do not agree with secularism? What percentage of atheists? There is 2% of atheists are mixed, like a mixed opinion. How? 1% <laughs> actually wait. are integrationists and 1% have no opinion or less than a percent. Okay. I want to meet 
I want to meet the one percent. <laughs> I want to meet the one percent of atheists and agnostics who are in favor of church state integration. I want to know what kind of people these are. And I want to ask them why. I want to know these people. I want to be like, what's wrong with you? How is that possible? Somebody explain to me. Somebody explain to me this one person of atheists and agnostics. Oh, I'll explain it right now. Tell me. They're like the they're they're probably like those weird <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, I think I like, know what you're talking. Uh, like uh, right wing conservative types oh. who are like, "Well, I'm smart enough to not believe in God, but I think that Christianity has really good <laughs> values that help structure society." And right, right, yeah. you're right. You're it's that so kind of correct. person. That's it has to kinda, be. Yeah, it has to be. <laughs> <laughs> Like a You're like so a correct. Sargon, yeah. a Sargon type. Yes, exactly. like that's his position. Or I am Douglas. wise enough to know that these are all nonsense. The, the, the you know, masses. I'm smart enough to not believe in God, but I'm also smart enough to understand the peak utility of religion that carries through to today and what we must maintain into the future. Like, right, 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 right. <laughs> I understand. Now we have I'm seen, not gonna. Oh yeah, it's actually we see them in the live chat here as well. The people are like, yeah, religion is stupid, but without religion, we get wokey people. That's what they say. Yeah. They get we get Wakistanis. Like so we need we need religion because people need something to believe in or else they're gonna go full on Marxist or something. Like that's what I that's, would rather that's, people that's... be a materialist any day of the <laughs> week, personally. <laughs> what material um no, I mean the, the the comeback to that is not that Marxism is fine or wokeism. I'm is not good. saying that the comeback I know you're not. I know you're not, but I just want to say that you don't have to, to come be back Marxist if you're a materialist. Let me yeah, but let me let me but what I'm saying, I'm not yeah, I'm not talking about what you said. I'm just saying that the comeback to that is um that they are a fringe group, okay? Stop exaggerating. Most atheists are not woke or marxist so don't be like we need religion because oh my god look at woke is uh, it's taking over it's not taking over it's not taking over okay we're fine um atheism is objectively better um look at scandinavian country they're you know so anyways but yeah go on do you want to highlight anything else Oh, no. Um, the other big finding from the report was that a surprising percentage of um, uh, non-white groups actually did support um, integration. So um, Hispanic Protestants were the largest or the group that had the largest um, uh, support for church state integration after white evangelicals. So, you know, as I said in the beginning, like, it is like a caricature of white evangelicalism in the United States at this point to like Christian nationalism, right? That's a thing. And we think of that as a very white phenomenon. And in many ways it is, but there is still um, a surprising amount of support in, in ethnic minority uh, groups as well. And um, I, I thought that was really interesting to think about. I hadn't expected that. You know, the fact that different races of people uh, have different opinions collectively in the United States shows that systemic racism is a thing. You know what I mean? Like, you can't be, you can't have the same experience, like, and have, so, you know, the fact that you can predict people's opinions based on their ethnicity means that different people are having different experiences in the United States based on their hmm. ethnicity. And that's mm -hmm. the very definition of systemic racism, right? Anyways. Interesting. Um, yeah. of, of course it's interesting. I said it. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was all I had to say on that news. Um, do you have anything else you'd like to add before we move to the next story? No, let's go on to the next story. We can clap for this story because it's just really um irreverent nice. and hilarious that's great we need that we need that hey guys if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy cali you know like me then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below because if you subscribe we will send you a free copy of our blasphemous art ebook and let me tell you it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find 
anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our Blasphemy that we continue to send you more Blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.